Have you ever wondered what product would be the best for you? Have you been looking through countless different stores online and offline just to find something that works for you? I'm going to be telling you the 5 best products that you should buy. Let's dive into it now. These little tins are a bit better than you might think at first glance. While these tins only have 2 packs and an art card, they tend to have better pulls than other products. They also come at an affordable price for only $9.99 USD. Considering that they're so affordable, it's easy enough to buy more than a few of them. And if you're feeling a bit more flush with cash, you can buy a mini tin display bundle, which comes for around $60 to $70, which is a pretty good price for 10 tins in one box. If you're in the stores looking for a nice product that has the pull rights to back it up, then the mini tins will be for you. However, I do caution for anyone who buys this, is that if you're used to buying a larger amount of product, the mini tins may seem a bit underwhelming, but at the same time this can be easy to look past, and it's easier to look at the main part of it, which it's a nice product, it's affordable, and you can get some better pull rights. Now, on to our next product, which is... Build and Battles have been a mainstay for new and seasoned battlers alike, but this doesn't mean that collectors can't buy it for themselves. The Builder Battles have four packs of whichever set you buy the product from, so it's also a great choice if you're on a budget, considering that your average Builder Battle only costs about 20 to 25 USD. This means that you're getting some great value behind that price tag too. Doesn't matter if you're new to the Pokemon TCG and wants to find a product that doesn't totally break your bank, or a seasoned collector who's looking to try something new, this product will be a pretty good fit. But, I do caution people who buy this that the pull rates can be pretty hit or miss at times, some people that will really matter to them, to some others it won't. But if you ignore that, the Bill and Paddle Kit should be a pretty good product for you that you should unbox at least once. I mean, four booster packs, even a battle deck for only $20 to $25, I'd say that's some pretty good value you're getting, even if you buy on the higher end, around $25, $26. Anyways, it's time for the next product. Elite Trainer Box has been a staple for all types of Pokemon enthusiasts for the past 13 years, so it's no wonder why collectors over the past decade have bought so many of them. These boxes include 8 packs of whichever set you're buying it from, dice for battling, damage markers, sleeves, and a special coin. However, the Elite Trainer Box does come towards the pricey end, ranging from $45 to up to $55 USD, which can be a bit of a problem for anybody on a budget. But if you're willing to spend a little bit extra, well, your trainer boxes certainly won't disappoint. With equipment for battling and packs for collecting, this box actually meets the needs of both collectors and battlers alike. And the average pull rates on elite trainer boxes can be pretty decent, collectors yielding solid pulls for the most part. But now it's time to move on to number two, which will be. While this may be the newest product on the list, that certainly doesn't make it worse. In fact, it's a great product. The best thing about it is that it comes with six packs and nothing extra, which means that you'll be getting tenfold more value about all the objects that you won't end up using, especially if you're a collector. And to add on to all of this, the booster bundle is only listed for around $24.99 USD, which means that if you want, you can buy two booster bundles to get 12 packs for the same value as an ETB. The Booster Bundle is an affordable, yet valuable product that really is a bit too underrated right now, especially considering how much value you get, and considering that you could buy two of them for the same price of an ETB, which is amazing, honestly. But I recommend, if you see this on the shelf, you should buy it for yourself. What's the harm in it? But besides all that, it's time to cover number one on the list. So the best product that you should buy, no matter what, is nothing. Now you might be a bit confused, hear me out. There's not a singular product that's truly the best. Every product has its ups and downs, some having more ups and vice versa. Everyone is going to have different budgets and different needs. This video is just a guideline based off of which products are more affordable and also give you more valuable. In other words, it's not a number one product out there. This might not have been what you guys expected, but it's something I wanted to tell you all. So, that's about all I had to say. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And, 
always, always remember that Charizard is temporary, Arceus is eternal. I'll see you guys soon now. Bye bye.